Hi Aries, welcome to your weekend love tarot reading for February 25th through the 27th. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you Aries. Let's see what's going on for you. Little weekend love reading here. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any heavy placements? Male or female, general collective reading. So please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. You definitely can flip, switch, reverse energies around anytime you feel the need to. Feel free to do that as well. Cross watchers could actually be a reading or messages for you. So please do keep that in mind. All right, Aries, welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Everything that you do need to know about me and this channel, Aries, is down below in the description box. You can check that out if you would like to. Your February readings are out. And if you're new here, I do eight readings a month. You get a weekly and a little uh, love tower reading, weekend love tower reading. And feel free to go to the community tab. Lots of polls over there, We're putting up a daily poll. So feel free to scroll and vote to your heart's delight. All right, Aries. Little weekend love tower reading here for Aries. Let's see what's going on. All right. We have co-creation. We kind of see a heart on fire there. So, and we have conclusion, 12, which is three. Three is, you know, the number of, it can be, Teamwork, collaboration, uh, growth, expansion, uh, coming together in some way, shape, or form. And we have service. I feel good when I can help others. It could be that, um, hmm, kind of an odd message, but let's fix my chair here. I almost feel like maybe, <sighs> maybe somebody was in the service. Maybe it's the end of their... Um, duty or something like that or it could be that uh, whatever somebody had to be in service of that didn't involve you there's kind of like an ending for that to that and now there can be a co-creation between you and this person i mean whatever responsibilities they had i'm not feeling like an, a marriage or something like that but it could be like family related responsibilities or work responsibilities because we do have service here so something, uh, something definitely somebody had to really, really uh, give a lot of time and energy to. All right, and somebody here has been hoping for um, co-creation with their person. So let's see. Let's see, it could be for some of you that something has ended for you and now you're free to start a new chapter in life and maybe you're uh, doing charity work or you're being of service to... You know, doing things that you enjoy, um, charity work or donating or just doing something um, that involves others, like co-creating co new energy in your life. All right, so let's see. The moon, something that you don't see coming, Pisces energy. We are in Pisces season right now. That could be fear, it could be intuition, it could be cycles and changes, a fear of the unknown, illusion, Eight of Pentacles. See, something working on here. See, I, th I feel like you're working on something or somebody's working on something. We have service. And it could be the ending of whatever you were working on or creating. And it's like, well, what's, what's going to happen now? So this is a love reading, so we'll see <laughs> where this is going. But we do have the heart right there. So something pertaining to love could happen for you. Messenger of Ear. Knight of Swords. Something happening quickly. We have Aquarius there. We did just have that, um, well, we just had the Leo full moon, but that happened during Aquarius. Five of Pentacles. Feeling a little uh, lack in some way. Transformation, so we have death here. That's Capricorn. Call, Judgment, Scorpio. Ace of Swords. So this is truth, clarity, awakening, epiphany. Uh, divine clarity from source, honest communication, um, cutting away things not ser no longer serving, standing up, telling it like it is. Successful new beginning. Hmm. And strength. Leo energy. Wow, I was just thinking of Leo. So, I mean, we do have that Leo full moon, which we just had in Pisces season. But the Leo full moon did happen during Aquarius season, which is right here. 
So we do have Pisces, Aquarius, or another air sign, um, Capricorn, Scorpio, Leo. Four of Pentacles. Very stable, grounded energy here. A lot of holding on, yet yeah, holding back. I fix my chair here. So, hmm, let's see. Ten of Cups. So you're about to be very happy and fulfilled in some way. Seven of um, Wands. Fighting for something or fighting through something. Or standing your ground. Ace of Fire. Fiery, passionate, exciting new beginning here. But feeling a little disenchanted, melancholy about when it comes to love. Yeah, that's what I feel here. Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like Eight of Fire. Communication or Cupid's Arrows coming in. A wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. I feel like... So this call could be... You get an unexpected... Um, call from somebody because hmm. I do see the moon as something maybe you're not seeing or something that's hidden um, as well so I feel like you I feel like working on something but that's come to an end and now something's happening very quickly so there could have been a uh, period of lack or feeling lack but then all of a sudden we have the transformation so when the ending of lack here and then there's a transformation into new energy, then there could be a call. Like you actually get a call from somebody, a surprise call. Um, let's see. Empress, Libra Taurus. Could be an old boss or something like that. Um, but we do have a successful new beginning here. Maybe communication. I feel like you're getting communication from someone out of the blue. And it's a surprise here. And it could have been a very strong connection. It could be even maybe just a past life connection. Or maybe someone you've always had a strong connection with. Um, I also feel like if there's been um, like no five of pentacles here, like no communication, um, like a separation or whatever here for like a long period of time that's about to come to an end, that is for sure. I almost feel like I need to clarify some of this because it's not really... I just did um, all the water signs and their messages were like so clear. It's telling me to um, clarify that conclusion. What is that conclusion about for Aries? Three of Cups. You could have been dating. I mean, that's my dating card, social, uh, socializing, community. So you could have been dating King of cups here and maybe you you know somebody fell in love unexpectedly with someone um as well i feel like maybe somebody was hiding their feel maybe were, was dating someone or dated someone in the past had strong feelings and maybe it never really went anywhere but kind of hid how they truly truly felt and it's like now the energy is coming back around from somebody you thought um they didn't feel the same or um they forgot about you or you for, you could have went on maybe two or three dates and that was it and then you, you really felt something for this person really really liked them um but it never really went anywhere it could be someone from like eight years ago all of a sudden calls you out of the blue and says you know i never stop look at the six of cups on the bottom of the deck so there is definitely a returning here of someone that um Never stop thinking about each other. Four of Swords. So definitely you thought that, um, yeah, holding on but not letting go or letting go but still holding on. Four of Wands. Look at that Gemini with the lovers here. So I definitely feel like you have like a soulmate energy coming back around. Um, you thought this was something that um, was nothing. Even though you felt like you could really like co-create with this person get to know them like you were starting to like really f have feelings for them starting to feel like a strong connection it could have been more than three dates i mean there could have been three very intense dates as well i mean whatever that means for you you know maybe three to six maybe even eight i don't know but i feel like all of a sudden you get an unexpected call from this person you know life review relationship review here with uh, judgment and someone coming in with truth and clarity, like, even though it's been a long time, um, I, you know, did have strong feelings for you. So there is a transformation here. 
Wow. All right. Aries, so let's see. It's like we have a clean slate here. So free here to write a new chapter. Somebody is returning. Someone that you never ever thought you would see again, hear from them again, or uh, anything like that. All right. Let's get you. Okay. Yep, we have evolution. You realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love. So something will evolve here. Friendliness. It could have been started out as friends and maybe you kind of dated. Or it could have been FWB. I mean, whatever that was for you. You are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections. Wow. In vision. No matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. You guys never stop thinking about each other. Maybe... Um, had visions of each other, maybe through dreams, um, deja vu, or just thinking about each other as well. Let's get, I don't know, I feel like we need one more here. Commitment. Oh my goodness. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your very being. So you're going to be in a commitment with the person, and it was the person you least expected. That's somebody very humble as well, humility. Wow, Aries. All right, Aries, that's what I have for you. So I hope it helped, it resonated. Again, thank you so much for being here. It's truly, truly appreciated. Um, we do have Pisces up here as well. I mean, we have Pisces here twice. Wishing you the best. Again, don't forget to check out your February readings as well. Keep an eye out for the weeklies and weekends coming up. And uh, don't forget to vote on the polls if you like to as well. So wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.